What's up guys, my name is Donald Johnson from MVP Loops. I'm here today to do a video on Mogul. Mogul is a brand new instrument we just released. We're really excited about it because it sounds great. It has construction kits in it. It has one shots, riffs, loops, individual loops. It also has nine categories of multi-sampled instruments. And let's check out Mogul and let's see what it can do. We're playing a kick. Yeah. So uh, let's pull up a mix here. Uh, we have four separate mixes that we usually put in here. We would put a drum mix. And then uh, by itself, then we'll put a music mix without low end and drums, which is what I was just playing. Then we'll put a music mix with low end. And then the full mix. So one of the ways that I like to take a mix and completely break it down and make it something completely different is by putting, taking that mix and maybe putting a filter on it. Let's put a filter here. Very nice filter. Then what I can do now is Another one of the things that you can do uh, here is go into the stutter effect, which I love. I have it set on 16th right now. So to engage it, you just click the toggle button. So if you was playing. into something completely different. I'm going to show you another feature that also allows you to take a sound that you find inside of a kit, an individual sound, a riff, and pretty much turn it into an instrument immediately. Well, what I can do is go over here, select the pad, go into key mode. Key mode lets me do this. Another a key mode trick is, you know, we have uh, 808 snares that we like to tune, of course, right? So let's say if we go over here and we look at uh, a kit. There we go. So if I wanted to take that 808 or that boom whew, and put it in key mode. You can do that with 808s, with riffs, loops, all different types of things. Um, let's also go ahead and look at a couple of more sounds in this kit, and then we'll move on and show you some of the uh, multi samples. <laughs> see I can play these melodies the way that I choose because you have one shot you have riffs you have loops you can do a lot of different things nice I want to flip over and show you some of the uh, multi samples. So, as I said, in the multi sample instruments section, you have nine different categories bass, keys, synth, synths, leads, pads, 
brass string studders and arps. Okay, so if we went to some of the keys, as you can see, you got everything from pianos to roads to organs, uh, synthetic keys, um, hybrid keys. Uh, so, you know, let's pull up a piano. Very nice. Nice piano. Let's go into um, suitcase E pad. It's kind of like a combination of a Rhodes with a pad layered on top of it. So. Very nice. Let's go through a couple of more of our sounds here. I'll pull up a couple of uh, synth leads. Let's see what we have. Nice dirt, dirt on that one. I love it. randomly. Ooh. Like that. This particular lead uses our glide, which is right here, and it's in poly and mono mode. Okay, so let's see how it sounds with a stutter on it. It's got very nice you can also as you see here uh adjust your modulation effects you have chorus you have flanger and you have phaser and this toggle knob will go between all three of those and what you can do if I wanted to turn it up you can hear the phaser uh, uh, the flanger there we're going to go over to the phaser it's a different sound over here I like that as well now you can pitch down up to give you kind of that record slow down so let's go down so that's hot pitch modes and check it out if you wanted to uh, double the drop rate this is great for a trap EDM progressive house big room R&B you can really do some incredible stuff I wanted to show you that pitch feature on a construction kit and here's why check it out so we have this and we can trigger it now what if I was to go over here and put a stutter on that transition something completely different so what it's about is giving you great sounds first and then giving you incredible features that allow you 
to really manipulate those sounds the way that you would choose to use it. Let's go and grab a snare. A feature we all have to have to, in today's music, and that's note repeat. And the cool thing about our note repeat is it goes all the way from bars, which you can use with latch to uh, do really cool performances, all the way up to 128th triplets. That's a snare. It's that 128th triplet. So if we come back down. And all of this is automatable with my knobs here by simply going here, right click, and now I turn my knob and that's controlling that particular pad. So imagine using that in live performance, not only on a snare, but on a, a riff or a loop or something else that you might like. Maybe I don't want that particular snare. Maybe I want to clap. I can go right here by clicking uh, th this area where the sound is displayed. And this brings you into a very cool feature called sample exchange. Very cool because you can do two things here. You can audition and, and exchange samples, but you can also pull up a construction kit and basically create a custom kit with all of the things that you like, all of the snares that you like, all of the things that you like. So, which I find very, very useful. So, let's go over here. That's the snare, we wanna replace it. In the left-hand section, uh, it basically gives you a breakdown of your different sound categories. And in the right-hand section are the actual sounds. And you can set this on auto play, or you can just play it uh, as you, uh, you know, one time. And then when you're ready to find something, when, once you've found something that you like and you wanna replace and exchange, you just simply click low. You can put any sound on any pad. Make sure all, all one shots, there we go. So we have them all under all one shots. So you have snares, claps, you have all your drums right here uh, organized properly. So what you can do, Go. It's a nice clap. Keep that one in mind. Oh, I like that one. A little reverb slap back. Let's load that one. So now, go out here. We have your clap. You guys out there that like to tweak and develop your own sounds. Uh, obviously, ADSR is very important. So let's go back over to the multi samples one more time, and let's go to a say a string. Very nice. I like that string, but let's say if I wanted to mess with it, I can go into the AD, ADSR. And I can adjust the attack. I can adjust the decay over here. But what if we filtered it? You can really kind of thin it out and craft it to be. what you wanted it to be. We can throw a little bit more reverb on there. And even add some distortion. Ooh. So that's gonna wrap it up for today. Again, my name is Donald Johnson from MVP Loops. Uh, we love our customers and we love providing you with the best customer care. So if you buy the product and you need any help, we're more than happy to jump online, team view with you, uh, help you out in any way. Uh, it's compatible with both Mac and PC. Uh, you do not need an iLock to use it. You can register it directly to your computer.